Bitcoin finally saw the gigantic dump which we all should have known was coming. If you are subscribed here, you would know, over the past several months, I've been identifying and analyzing this trend here, of which appeared in my opinion to be a bearish descending triangle, and now the proof is in the pudding. Bitcoin did in fact break down out of this tentatively bearish pattern. And the fact is here, ladies and gentlemen, is that where the price action is right here right now, I do believe that Bitcoin is at an extremely high risk to enter a new bear market. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Crypto Kirby here, your cryptocurrency expert, back with another edition of the daily live stream. What is going on, my friends? Today, I'd like to discuss Bitcoin and the action we're seeing inside the chart right now. So obviously, Bitcoin is down in the low $8,000 region, and we've actually entered a very interesting spot here in the trend. I really want to analyze this. I want to flip the chart upside down, as I know you've all been liking to look at this from an alternate perspective. I want to look at the weekly time frame. I want to look at the daily time frame. There's a lot going on right now, and for me, uh, we're teetering on the edge of entering a potential bear market here yet again. Have we entered at this point? Well, let's take a look and dive right in, all right? So as a full-time trader, I'd like to discuss with you my strategy, my game plan, and how I plan to crush this market right now in the immediate term. So without any further ado, you guys already know the deal. If you like these daily crypto videos and nightly live streams, smack that thumbs up button, click the subscribe, tick the little bell, and let's get this crypto. Moon the likes, ladies and gentlemen. Moon them up. All right, so we'll begin with our Bitcoin technical analysis. And of course, before we begin, this is not investment advice. This is not trading advice. These are only my own opinions, ideas, and speculative hypotheses on the market. Always do your own research and your own due diligence before investing or trading, as this market is extremely high risk, and I am not your financial advisor. I will never tell you what to do with your trades or investments. That being said, let's begin right here on the one day time frame. This is the BLX. This is the liquid index here for Bitcoin. Many exchanges data compiled into one. Now, what I want to look at here first is to understand really the range of which we've dropped into. And for me, this is this green box right here. And I still do have this little question mark here because I had it for so long uh, inside this range of will Bitcoin test back into this region. Uh, and this looked like the hot spot for me here, the sweet spot, if you will. And Bitcoin has entered this level at this point in time. Now, what's significant about this? Well, the top of the range here is the 0.5 Fibonacci retracement. And this is the retracement of the entire move from the bottom of the bear market all the way to the top of the bull market, right? Uh, and what we're seeing here is that the 0.5 has been purged. Right now, it's holding right around it. Uh, this chart on the BLX, it only updates once per day. So we're actually going to uh, look here quickly at the live chart just to see uh, where it's at right now, because I do believe it's just a little bit above it. Uh, yeah, it's currently still under it, actually. So we'll go back to the BLX now, as this is still completely relevant here. So right now, we're trading just below the 0.5, roughly on it, if you will. But what you want to see here from a bullish perspective is that this will become support, that, that the daily candle will get back above this 0.5 retracement and act as support here potentially for to hold for a short-term bottom, right? Because if we continue to trade below here and the 0.5 becomes resistance uh, in conjunction here with these tops over here, the prior resistance, right? And then the underbellies of these candles here uh, as tentative new resistance up above and you still can't get above this, my friends, this may look to be a staunch resistance level here, uh, roughly around 8450. And if that is in fact the case, well, for me, the next logical target becomes this golden Fibonacci retracement right around the 0.618 level there around 7240. Okay. And this for me has a lot, a lot of confluence here. Look, it was the 0.236 retracement on the large move, right? Or excuse me, it was the 0.2, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? The 0.2 extension, excuse me, not the retracement. This was the 0.236 extension. Okay. Over here. 
It also coincides with this 0.618 retracement. And take a look here, ladies and gentlemen, at all of the confluence here. Look, resistance, uh, support, resistance, support, resistance, all along this region here. Then we fast forward, support, 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 went up, drop down, back test, support, support. Uh, so if we do drop here, there is a ton of confluence in this range, which could help act as new support for Bitcoin, right? You guys see this here. It doesn't have to play out that way. But I do believe that even if we were to take a, a pretty large drop off down to this level right now, which would roughly be around another 14% drop, I still think that this could be a healthy spot for the bulls to potentially uh, get some buy pressure back in there. Let's get this crypto. Now, let's flip on our moving averages here on the daily time frame. Okay, what I want you all to understand here as well, the 200 day is being held for the time being. The bulls have defended the 200 day moving average and the 200 day moving average is very significant. The 200 is a level that even in the traditional markets, when you are trading above it, it's generally bullish. And when you're trading below it, it's generally bearish. It's just a classic moving average that's been uh, used throughout history here. And for me right now, what's interesting is that if we do drop below this, it's likely going to start to trigger some algorithms a daily candle close, right? Because I'm sure the trolls, Kirby, don't you see? We already wicked below the level, Kirby. We already wicked. Okay, James, I understand. I'm talking about a daily candle body close on the one day time frame. Below this will likely trigger excessive bot selling here, in my opinion. If we close below that line, let's get this crypto. But for the time being, it is holding as support. We'll have to see as the trend develops. So watch for that there as well. Also, we could see here now that our 50 and 100 moving averages on the daily time frame are beginning to curl downwards right now. If we do start to see that 50 come down here, start to see this 100 come down here, and we are flirting with a cross, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this may in fact get very, very uh, bearish looking from a moving average perspective. Uh, and I'm actually going to look at the total altcoin and Bitcoin market cap chart to show this as well, uh, as there are some interesting factors looming in the shadows there as well. Let's get this crypto. Um, if we do take a look now on the weekly here, before we go over to the other charts, the weekly for me here is not what I wanted to see here. And, and purely, ladies and gentlemen, let's actually take these moving averages and I'm going to get rid of the 50 and the 200. This leaves us just with the two, uh, the 21, right? Uh, and I want you to guys to really see here that all throughout Bitcoin's history, the 21 week moving average has really been a, a great indicator in terms of seeing price action when it's trading above it, it's been in a bull market. And then when you get candle body closes below it, it's, it's really led to bear markets. Of course, past performance is not indicative of future results, but we've seen here uh, that once we start getting candle body closes above it, it's been the end of bull mar of bear markets and has led to a bull market. And on the contrary, when we s we've seen candle body closes below this region, it's led to bear markets. And right now, we've seen the same on the way up here, right? Large candle body close above the 21 weekly moving average led to this entire bull run that we've had all the way up to 14,000, right? And this candle body close came in the $4,000 region. Huge, huge gains. And now, my friends, look at where we are. Ding, 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 chicken wings for dinner, tofu if you're vegan. Uh, if we see this candle close right here below the level that we're currently already below now, and we get this candle body close below here, uh, it would not be surprising in my opinion uh, to see that maybe this is the beginning of a new bear market, right? It does not have to be. Okay, little James, does this trigger you, little James? That Don Don Carbonaccio is telling you what I see here in the chart. If you can't handle the truth, James, it might be time to skirt out of the kitchen because if you can't take the heat, you know what they say. Get the heck out of the kitchen. Oh, let's get this crypto. So now, uh, I think that I've covered this for you all here, ladies and gentlemen, from a uh, very... Uh, easy to understand perspective of where we're at here. For me, I can't really look further 
than this 0.618 Fibonacci. That will become the next analysis for me if we get below there, right? It all depends right now. Are we going to see a bounce up here? Uh, I think we could, right? The RSI is completely overextended. Uh, let's get rid of these, right? Let's get rid of these. If you're subscribed here, you would know what that is for me here. And this was the hidden potential bullish divergence, right? And this is what you guys have to understand that uh, technical analysis is never perfect, right? Uh, and this showed a potential hidden bullish divergence. Uh, that if we were to break to the upside, could have had some confirmation. We never got the confirmation, and the divergence was negated, okay? So now let's get this out of there. So what we see now, the RSI is dumping pretty hard on the weekly, but we're in neutral territory here. If we go to the daily, this is where it gets interesting, uh, and you see we're completely overbought right now or excuse me, oversold, getting tongue-tied, completely oversold. And really, all the times in the past here that this has happened, we've had a nice reaction bounce, okay? Uh, doesn't mean that we have to get a reaction bounce now, but it would not surprise me to see one. And if we are going to see one on the daily time frame here, we have to understand that this level, all this old support here, this red line around 9,100, 9,000 to 9,100 should in theory act as a pretty staunch new resistance point, right? And if we get through there, well, maybe there's more action to the upside. But right now, if we are going to see a BART form here, right, with some support forming along this 0.5 FIB, uh, look for this red line here around 9,100 to be resistance and then at most 9,800, uh, and if we move further up than that, my analysis will have to change, but again, a BART could happen here, right? Because why, uh, you know, many average Joes and dreams at the water coolers, they all probably jumped on the inverse parabolic express a little late, ladies and gentlemen. They were probably holding their bags up here. Oh, Kirby, you know, uh, your technical analysis, it's garbage, Kirby, because we're going to the moon. All right, James, I hope you, you had a good time commenting, telling Don Don Carbonaccio that you're holding your point zero one Bitcoins and you're going to be a multi-million gazillionaire. And then it dumps into oblivion. While the Don was shorting and keeping my VIPs up to date with my shorts in real time. You guys see here, I shorted at 9,798. I wound up moving my stop loss to break even when the trade uh, began to go in my favor to the downside, so I was at no risk there, essentially. Then I wound up taking 50% of my trade off the table for profit at 86.52. Heinous, over an 1,000% move to the downside, took 50% of my profit there. Then I placed another stop loss, and now... Uh, I just took another 25% of my trade off the table for profits at 83.50. So right now I still have 25% of my original short position open from 9,798 with a stop loss in place that will, uh, you know, it's a stop loss, but it's also a take profit, right? You guys understand this. Uh, it's not like I'm losing if that gets hit. It's it's placed in, in a ton of profit. Uh, so shout out to my VIPs. Right now, I'm going to continue to get aggressive and play this to the best of my ability here. And I'm going to continue to keep you all updated in real time with my trades. Let's get this crypto. So now, uh, like I've stated here, my downside targets around that 0.618 FIB, around 7,100. Uh, upside targets potentially as high as 9,100 to 9,800. Uh, and I'm going to be playing this accordingly, right? If my stop loss gets triggered for profit on the way up, you best believe the Don is ready to get in a new position. These are the types of market conditions that we're seeing right now that lead to potentially life-changing trading opportunity. I mean, when I say that, I don't say it lightly, ladies and gentlemen, right? Many didn't catch this move here. What are you, sick? You sick? You've been waiting for this move, my friend. And if you missed it, there's no excuse, right? You guys know I was in a little long here. Tight stop loss, got out of my long. Switched, boom, right into a short and took the ride all the way down. Let's get this crypto. Now, uh, if we move down, I'm going to likely just continue to take profits and look for new positions as well, potentially to the upside from that point. Or if we break, uh, might even be looking to short lower. Let's get this crypto. But anyway, uh, I'll keep you all up to date in VIP with that, okay? But now I want to move over to the charts containing the altcoins and Bitcoin in terms of market cap. And then we'll look at the altcoins uh, by themselves as well. Because right now, ladies and gentlemen, you see that this, this market is on the brink of be, becoming an absolute and utter debacle, 
right? We see that this this does have the potential to to be a new bear market. Uh, I'm not saying or declaring that this is in now. I'm sure you know on on other videos you'll see it. Oh look, dang dang, Crabanagia. He said we're in a bear market. Uh, James, my friend, uh, the thing is, is look at this candle here. We could be in a bear market now as this 21 week moving average has been picking it time and time again all throughout history, little James. Uh, doesn't mean it has to happen this time, but just go back, do your history lessons here, go back, flip on the, the 21 week moving average and you look at it. Candle body closes only, no wicks. And you look at the flips from bull market to bear market. All right. And right now we do have a candle body. Uh, there's still time left in the week here. But if this closes underneath, hoo -hoo -hoo, this market may be ready for a turn deep down into the crypto abyss. Now, let's go over to these other charts containing the altcoins as well, because to me, there is a lot of data in here that should not be overlooked. Let's get this crypto. But if you are just tuning in now, don't forget to moon up the likes, moon them up, smash those thumbs, click the subscribe button, tick the little bell. Let's get this crypto. Satoshi needs a new pair of shoes. Sheesh. All right. I actually want to take a look here. Oh, uh, yeah. We'll look at the altcoins first. This is excluding Bitcoin. Okay. Because then we're going to look at the market with Bitcoin included. So this is just alts only. No Bitcoin here. Okay. And what I want you to understand, let's flip on our other moving averages as well. Uh, we've seen that we had a death cross, which is the 50 and the 200 moving averages, death crossing. That is the orange line and the teal line, right? We saw that cross all the way back here. We had a fake out, okay, uh, which can be chalked up to numerous things. This could have been uh, whales just saying, let's pump the market one more time. Get that liquidity to come in with Average Joe and James at the water cooler FOMOing back in, even though all of the technicals are bearish. They don't know anything. Let's get them to buy here and then we can dump. Uh, that's surely a possibility, uh, but whatever out of that theory. For me right now, we are in a tentative bearish head and shoulders here with already a break of our neckline to the downside. And right now it's holding on by a thread, 0.786 Fibonacci along with this old historic resistance ceiling, which may now act as new support. But ladies and gentlemen, if this purges here, we're, we're back into the bear market territory here again. Look at this. This is where we're at. And if we break that retracement there, the 786, my friends, uh, it's crazy to put in new lows doesn't seem out of out of the realm of possibility, in my opinion. That's just how I feel. Uh, it really doesn't. If we look on the weekly time frame here now, uh, we could see as well just an immense, immense engulfing bearish candle here completely underneath uh, our 50 and 100 week moving average as well uh, for the first time in a long time, really, uh, you know, months on end now for the first time in a long time. Uh, and, and for me right now, look at this. We're actually underneath. We could wind up getting a candle body close underneath the 200 weak moving average, ladies and gentlemen. That is extremely, extremely bearish if we close under there, right? You guys remember the 200 week on Bitcoin. We'll go and look at this just briefly. The 200 week on Bitcoin is where we found our bear market bottom back down at 3000. And in the last uh, bear market, dating all the way back in Bitcoin history here, uh, you know, rewinding back to 2015, this is where the bear market ended as well. Okay. This is just Bitcoin. Okay. Well, that 200 week was very significant, but now what I'm seeing here on the altcoins only no Bitcoin included here, that 200 week right now has been purged. We are trading below it right now. Uh, and if we get a candle body close below there, wow, just wow. Uh, absolutely unbelievable to be to be quite honest uh, where we're at right now so keep that on your radar let's look here now at the chart including Bitcoin all right what we can see here my friends is that the chart right now we'll actually look at the daily first the chart right now this is very interesting because this includes Bitcoin and altcoins and I want you to see where we're at the structure of the chart looks the same as Bitcoin right? It looks the same, but the levels are different. If you notice where we're at right now, we're already at the 618 Fibonacci, the golden fib. We're already at that retracement. 
okay? And look at it here. This flat line here is very reminiscent of Bitcoin consolidating at that $6,000 level before the dive deep down to $3,000. We're already here, right? We're already at the golden level and at the historic confluence. So is this going to be the chart that that uh, is the front runner? Is this the chart that's going to be able to essentially, uh, you know, look into the future here? We're also seeing an aggressive movement down on these moving averages as well. We may potentially get the death cross here uh, before the regular chart. And if that is in fact the case, uh, my friends, this could be the, the chart to watch here. I know I'm going to be watching it like a hawk. If we lose support uh, of this 0.618 golden fib and this historic confluence zone here, uh, and Bitcoin is still hovering above 6,000 on the regular chart, uh, my friends, this could be a leading indicator here that this, this thing could be ready to go down even further. Uh, and just to keep it on your radar, this chart is already below the 200 day moving average, uh, you know, traditionally very bearish to be trading below there. If we look at our weekly time frame here, we could see that right now our entire candle body is below the 21 week moving average. The entire candle body is below it. Uh, and if we close like that, you already know, I've shown you that in the past. It's so historically bearish. It just is anytime you get complete candle body closes underneath that line, it has historically been a bear market that follows. And just on the contrary, anytime you get full candle body closes above that line, right? It has been leading to a bull market. I don't, I, you know, of course this is subject to change, right? It doesn't, past performance is not indicative of future results. Uh, but this indicator in particular has been very, very accurate historically. And right now for me, I see that Bitcoin and the altcoin market is at a high risk to enter a new bear market. But this should not scare you. This should not, uh, oh Kirby, it's all over. This thing's going to zero. If it goes to zero, you should make a whole ton of money shorting it then, right? That's what I don't get, ladies and gentlemen. Why do people cry? Uh, you know, I know that all of you here listening right now and you hear me preaching, Kirby, why do you even give these guys the time of day? It's, it's good, ladies and gentlemen, to get this out here that we all understand. In trading, there has to be people like that, right? Or else none of us would be able to profit. Those are, unfortunately for them, those are the people that provide the profit in the market, right? They have to be making bad decisions while you're making good decisions. You're profiting off their mistakes. It's unfortunate for those, but that is just how trading works, right? Somebody has to lose for somebody to win. That's how the game works, right? Somebody has to sell to you when you buy and then the price goes up. Uh, when you sell, somebody bought and then the price goes up, right? That's just how it works. So somebody has to win and somebody has to lose. And, and fortunately, fortunately for us here on this channel, in the house that Don Don Carbonaccio built, Looking at this market from a realistic perspective, keeping all of the moon boy sentiment and hullabaloo out of it, this is how we gain an edge over the market. And with the perceived edge from looking at the indicators, the technicals, everything to the best of our ability here, this is what allows traders like ourselves to find those potentially high reward, low risk trade setups to get you to crush the market over and over again long term, right? You can't win every trade, but with the perceived edge of finding those high reward, low risk trade setups, that is how you can gain that, that uh, perceived advantage over the rest of the competition. Oh, let's get this crypto. Um, so for me right now, guys, you see where we're at. Uh, for me, this is, I, I can't believe where we're actually at here, ladies and gentlemen. The the trend right now has gotten oh so juicy. Uh, and for me, I actually am seeing here that this could wind up being one of the more opportune times uh, for trading inside this market right now. Because if we do wind up getting a BART back up, wow, this could get juicy, juicy, juicy with action popping back to the upside. Or, or, and or if we just drop right back down uh, with a continued sell-off, 
Uh, I think that this could look a lot like what we saw over here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and we all know that Don Don Carbonaccio is ready to strike like a cobra out of the grass and get this crypto, whichever way the market breaks, right? This could be a, a, a BART up. It could wind up becoming a bear flag down. Either way, my mind right now is focused on that macro trend, right? I'm already in juicy profits from my last trade here, but I'm going to be taking new trades as well. Uh, hopefully a lot of them. And I'm going to be keeping you up to date in VIP, ladies and gentlemen. I've had so many people, oh, Don Don, oh, if only, if only I knew that this was going to drop down, Kirby. Well, my friend, I was posting my trades in VIP that when it dropped down, I was posting all of this for you. Uh, I don't know what to tell you, right? I was posting it before it all happened. Uh, of course, you know, I was long as well. And then I took that very little loss and I switched soon as we started breaking down. So if we did break up, I was going to be catching that ride too. I was prepared for both directions. That's what I try and tell you guys. If you fail to plan, then your plan is to fail. Don Don Carbonaccio does not fail to plan. Don Don Carbonaccio plans to succeed. If we were going up, I was on the right end of it. We went down, I got out of that trade, and I went short and caught all of it, right? So the, the fact of the matter is here, guys, is that uh, I'm going to continue to trade this hard and aggressively. I see potentially life-changing trading opportunity maybe looming around the corner here and looming in the shadows, and I'm going to continue to keep this pedal to the metal here uh, as this is not a time in the market that I'm looking to squander or miss opportunity. You see we may be on a fundamental structural change here of potentially going into a bear market and if that is in fact the case i hope we all remember uh how the don crushed the market on this drop here an absolute crush uh the trolls and the badgering on this region you don't know kirby anything you you where are all those people now ladies and gentlemen gone they don't even trade anymore right they don't even trade this was this all I, I honestly feel bad for them, ladies and gentlemen, but the thing is that this is what separates the boys from the men, the girls from the women, and the savages from the sheep, right? And this is why, when you tune into this stream, the moon boys, they can like it or they don't like it, but either way, they better learn to love it, because this stream right here is the best thing going inside the cryptocurrency space today. Let's get this crypto. Diamonds are forever, and so is Don Don Carbonaccio. Sheesh. So when the sun rises in the east and sets in the west on these moon boy degenerates, are you going to be the one that crushes this market and gets this crypto? Or are you going to be the one taking that trip to Wreck City with Average Joe and James at the water cooler? My friend, I've already shown you my trades here from VIP, and I've shown you that I'm going to keep you updated to the absolute second as I continue to make my trades here as this trend develops. Today is the day. Are you going to transform yourself from average Joe into savage Joe? Or are you going to continue to get wrecked and caught like a deer in the headlights with Daniel the Degenerate and Corey the Crypto Crackhead? The choice is yours. My friends, I hope that you've enjoyed here today. It's been my absolute pleasure. If you could, one last time, moon up the likes, moon them up, smash those thumbs, click the subscribe button, tick the little bell, and let's get this crypto. Share this video with other traders in your chats, your socials, etc. I believe uh, that many should be looking at the potential high-risk scenario here that Bitcoin may be rolling over into a macro bear market. Doesn't have to happen, but the charts are showing signs that we may be right at that tipping point right now that as this develops, we could roll over into a new bear market. Let's get this crypto. So guys, I will see you in VIP right now. <laughs> this looks like the chart is getting absolutely juicy. I'm ready to trade this aggressively and take advantage of any potentially life-changing trading opportunities that I see here with tentatively high reward low risk trade setups to the best of my ability to crush this market like a two-ton man on a tuna fish can i'm ready to create this crypto i'm ready to crush this market are you let's get this crypto i will see you all in vip right now shout out to my vips i will see you all in vip right now and until next time my friends the don has spoken be safe be happy be healthy it's your boy crypto kirby Peace and love, my friends. Curbs.